Hi everyone, so today we will be discussing the problem C from the latest code forces round that is global round 16. So the problem name is max max cut. So let's read out the problem statement. So the problem says that you have been given a binary string. It is such that it consists of zeros and ones and you have been given a byte table that has exactly two rows of equal length. So both the rows have equal length. That means that's great. Uh, so they want something from us. So either it will be in form of a rectangle or it will be in form of a square and each being a binary string, right? So the, both the strings that are given in two rows are binary strings. So they can have a character either zero or one, right? So let the max of a byte table be the smallest digit among zero, one and two that does not occur in the byte table. So for example, if you have this matrix, uh, which is a byte table, that is it has one string uh, in the first row and second string in the second uh, second row. So what happens is you here you can see that two is not present and two is the smallest non-negative number that does not occur in this array. So two will be our max and uh, for this matrix you can see the zero will be our max because zero is the smallest non-negative integer that is not present in the array, right? And uh, so you are given a bi-directional table and the column size is n and that will be same the column size will be same for both the strings and you should cut it into any number of by table so you can cut it in any number of by tables such that uh, each column is in exactly one by table right this is clear and it it is possible to cut the by table into a string table the whole by table right so it is possible that you can take the whole chunk or uh, the whole by uh, whole table whole uh, matrix once only like you don't need to divide it can also be possible so you have to find the maximum value of the max uh, that results from the given by table to you so you have been given t that is t is from 1 to less equal to 10 to the power 4 and then you have n which is less equal which is greater than 1 and less equal to 10 to the power 5 uh, so uh, let's try and uh, see what the problem says actually so you have uh, 0 one zero one and then triple zero i'll write down the test cases for you quickly uh, so what you have first of all is zero one zero one and then you have a triple zero right this is the case for the first part and then you have double one zero double one double zero you have double one zero double one uh, you have double one then you have you have double one then you have zero then you have double one and then zero double zero right so just let me check double one zero double one and then double zero double one zero double one and then double zero and you have zero one zero one and triple zero right yeah so what happens is uh let's try and divide it so uh what i can do actually is uh let's say that i take this as a whole so for this the max will be 2 then what I can do is I can take this much part again and for this the max will be 2 again and uh, then next up what you will want to do is uh, like let's read the statement clearly so you have 0 1 then you have 1 0 then you have double 1 whose max will be 0 right yeah so one second uh, this will not be the case to in an optimal manner what will happen is like for this one uh, you will take this and the max for this will be zero then you can take this much part and for this the max will be two again right and then after this what will happen is for zero and one again the max will be two and for the rest of the cases the max will be one right so this is the part for this part the max will be one uh, two again and for this this uh, this much matrix if you take this matrix then it will be one and let's suppose that you take this matrix so it will be again one so you can see uh, let's try and make some observations through this so what happens is if you have a bunch of zeros or even if you have these zeros so what will happen is you can make the max as one right if you have ones only then you have a max zero right uh, if it if it is the worst case 
but if you have zeros and you have ones with them you so what you can do is instead of doing this you can have ones here with the zeros and you will get max two so you can see that in this case what was happening was you were getting a max of one if you took them separately but if you take them uh, uh, together so what will happen is you will get a max of two right and if you have zeros uh, zero separately then you will get a max of one so what you will try is you will try to club up the zeros with ones and uh, another case that can happen is like what can happen is ones are there and then after that zero so you can club this again uh, so for this you will get max again as two and if you have zeros alone then you will have max one uh, so the only case that will be left is where you will have, have be having ones so for those cases you will get a zero but uh, but if you have uh, zeros before them or after them so you can combine them together and instead of getting a max of one for those two but for the matrix for that particular matrix of two cross two what you can do is you can get a answer of max is equal to two which is one greater so in this way you can maximize your max so without much delay i like you to uh, see the code for this problem so what happens is first of all first of all what you will be doing is you will take the inputs uh, as mentioned like you will be taking n that is the size of the co each column every uh, the two column and then you will be taking the string a and string b if both of them are not equal then you will what you will do is you will add two to the answer and then you will call the function solve with string right you will call the function solve string and in that case for the that particular index what will happen is you will count the number of you can count the number of zeros right and you will store the size of that string uh, you take two in two indicating variables a and b and you indicate them as zeros and if you have a zero and one if you have a, uh, if your si is equal to zero or if your si is equal to one then what you do is you make a and b as true and if both a and b are true then you add them and after that you keep them as false again and if if this was not the case like if both were not same then what you can simply do is you will add uh, you will simply add a of i to your answer and in this way what you will what will be happening is you will simply uh, print the answer plus the solve of s because uh, in this case what will happen is you will take s as a whole in the end as well so this was all about the question so in case if you have any doubts then you can mention that in the comments so this was a basic greedy question uh, which required some implementation from your side so the implement i must say that the implementation can be implementation can be different as well so in case if you have any doubts so you can mention that in the comments and thank you uh, if you like our videos then make sure to like the video give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe the channel thank you